Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus yen. Recall from my uh, earlier videos uh, yesterday and probably on Monday, uh, I spoke uh, highly of this uh, swing area right through here as the uh, key, key, a key level for this uh, currency pair. You can see the number of different swing lows and swing highs that uh, occurred at that area, including on Monday's trade, the, bar, the high price came up to the high of that swing area. That swing area comes between 142.23 and 142.658. In between, sits a 61.8% retracement around 142.49. And as you can see, on uh, in trading yesterday, the market moved above that level, extending above the, above the level. But in trading here today, what did we just see? We see all rotation back to the downside. And where did the low price come in? Well, the low price came in right near the low of that swing area at 142.234. The low price came in around 142.22, and we've seen a rotation back to the upside. So um, that swing area did its job of holding support and uh, pushing the uh, pair back to the upside, keeping the buyers more in control. Now let's take a look at the hourly chart, and this is uh, the price action that occurred Curd, and I uh, outlined this uh, level right here. That's a 49.8 level. That's a 61.8% retracement. Uh, this is the 65 level, the top side of that swing area. And you can see after the Fitch announcement, what did the price do? It came down to the high of that swing area, bounced higher, and then moved up to this swing area, which I also talked about yesterday in my uh, uh, video. Uh, that level was the next target level on the top side during yesterday's trade. Why? Because of these levels right here it was only over two days but the market found support against the high of this area and then fell below that level and then retraced up to it and rotated back to the downside market remembers that the market sees that that chart uh chart and those levels and indeed yesterday the price uh, came up to those levels and found resistant sellers against the level and in, in trading today the early sellers came in against that swing area pushed the price to the downside and here is the uh, break of the uh, 61.8 of 142.49 nine and then we uh, uh we moved uh, uh down to the 23 level just uh, just below that level and saw a rotation back to the upside so where do we stand now well we're back above this uh 23 to 65 area off the daily chart and that's going to be our support and we are seeing it over the last few hours of trading support coming against the high of the level once again so buyers against the 142 65 level is my uh uh, is what uh, traders will be looking uh, to keep the bullish bias in this pair. Having said that, uh, we need to get above uh, all the uh, uh, swing highs, uh, including the high price uh, off of uh, today's uh, today's trade right through here, and then uh, looking at the uh, swing area between the 143, 43, and 60, and 53 on the top side. If we get above that level, it opens the door for further upside momentum, uh, and uh, with the uh, uh, the uh, this uh, other swing area up here as the uh, next target for the dollar versus yen. So uh, a little bit of uh, the daily chart, a little bit of the hourly chart, but the uh, technical lows are doing what they should do, what I've been talking about. So be aware, be prepared. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.